Don't tell. I know you've just seen the most amazing things, but don't tell. Yes, Peter, James and John, you saw me on the mountain, revealed among the brightest light of creation exploding into being, of being spoken into being, by the word of God, which you are gradually coming to realise is who I am. But don't tell. It's not that I don't realise what a mind-blowing experience the three of you have just had. But hard as it is to pass up the chance to say you were there and saw all that, don't tell. Elijah and Moses, both revealed as part of the story of God's revelation as I spoke to them there, but both illuminated by my greater glory. That must have appeared odd, very odd. And I can tell from Peter's embarrassed blurtings about setting up three tents that you don't really get it yet. So don't tell. It's not your fault. There's an important bit of the story which hasn't happened yet. So please, while you don't yet see the whole story, because it is still being told, while you only get glimpses of who I am, while you grapple in the dark, awaiting revelation, don't tell. Don't tell. Until the Son of Man is risen from the dead, and the story is fully told. Then you can tell. In fact, then you can tell. Then you must tell. Tell everyone. Tell everyone.